Hello. All right. Hello, everyone, and welcome on this uh, other episode of FreeCAD. Um, so today I was thinking that I wanted to talk about uh, the multi-layer walls that I have here. Um, let me bring it up. Uh, okay. So basically, it is a tool that will allow us to, let's say, work on uh let's say you know creating this kinds of wall which has uh this kind of cavity so it can it can be a wall can be composed of many different layers and so it is just allow us to create you know either a cavity wall for example uh where you know you can have uh you know a cavity of some particular thickness and so uh, you, you, you kind of see this kind of construction a lot in North America um, that I'm familiar with. Um, so, or you can have them completely filled with grout, like in this particular example. So, um, so as I was following along, uh, and in fact, you know, Yuri kind of programmed this and he said he find quite an elegant solution for the multi-layer walls. And I think, you know, after using it a couple of times myself, I think it's quite an elegant solution. Um, so I'm going to show you, you know, I'm just going to first show you uh, what it looks like. And um, I forgot to get one thing set up. Give me a moment. Uh... Mm hmm I'm looking for the voice typing okay good is the voice typing working well all right perfect so let's get into it so I already opened FreeCAD here as you see so I'm just going to check that so I can see my grid and scroll out a little bit now I'm going to take the line, so everything works with the line. I'm going to take the line. So everything works with the line, so... Um, if I select that... And do that... My text to speech is not working well, so I'm gonna try something else. All right. Now, all right. So now that I have uh, my 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 drawing, so what I do is I can create a wall. So just create a wall. Um. So if I bring up the D wire property the line that I drew here you can see that this is the line I'm gonna make it a little bit thicker like so so we can see it a little bit better and probably uh, change the line color uh, maybe it's yellow that should be fine so it's visible so you can see that uh, I can move around uh, you know, I can, of, of course, every program has this ability to, let's say, go to the data center, uh, right? You know, I can, I can align it in any particular direction that I want. Or to the left. Okay, but that's not what is interesting about this is that you can, I can use the same D wire. And so I can, um, I can create a second wall. So I, I, I check that and create a second wall. So this is my second wall, which is going to serve as the second layer, right? So uh, maybe I want to, um, you know, maybe I want to move it to the right, maybe like this. Okay, so my 
my D wire line is in between but maybe I want to create uh, the cavity space you saw there so in that particular sense you know every wall property which is generated from a line has the uh, offset you know this offset parameter here so you want to uh, probably let's say try uh, 10 centimeters okay see what happens okay so I have my little cavity so here I can maybe say that that if you know if that's the exterior wall which is made out of bricks for example and I you know I, I have a particular thickness for the bricks uh, I'm going to use the wall thickness maybe it's gonna be 0 0.15 like this you know and and I can just give it a little color uh, let's say some kind of you know something like that so you can see how um, you know it becomes it starts to get interesting you know I can even make this one a little thicker let's see um, 0.3 M exactly like that so so at this point you know because they both control by the line you know of course the line is still editable so go back to the top and so uh finish editing and so double click on that maybe i, I can hide uh this wall as well i'll bring them both double click here and go from the bottom and so I can just update the wall like that so so the way that this is thinking is not to be underestimated because um, each wall for example has the ability to have its own height so I can uh, I can take this one to four for example All right so uh, you begin to see what kind of possibility this 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 brings you right um, so it's very it's very interesting what you can do with with this thing okay so I'm gonna keep this tutorial short because I want to start uh, you know piecing these things but I wanted to show you a little bit about uh, this free cat's ability uh, actually I want to try something else I want to add another wall you know maybe do this I have a third wall and then offset that again you know let's see select this wall and then offset uh, let's see what do I want I want um, 0 0.2 meters of set now in this example you see that it did not move simply because the alignment is still at the center so it's not going to move in any direction but if I say check that so you see it moved let me bring a color for it so we can see it well, let's make that blue uh, so so for example if you had um a coating like you know like let's say a very thin coating in your wall in your interior wall you can say well maybe I want this wall to be um, let's say 0 0.02 meters thick you know with an offset of um, 0 0.3 I guess right here right and maybe you know there was a very thin layer on top there a very thin layer of an edge of set you know of some sort um, so what you would do is you would just reduce the height by let's say 2.9 right okay so here we have our multi-layered wall uh, 
and how to create them. Okay.